is where Atlanta speaks. 11 Live News at noon starts now. We begin this noon with breaking news. The Supreme Court of Georgia has just reversed a Cobb County father's murder conviction after his young son died in a hot car in 2014. The court stating that the jury heard and saw improperly admitted evidence during Ross Harris's trial, and that's what has led to his reverse decision in that murder conviction. But it could be upheld, and they did upheld Harris's convictions related to sex crimes involving a teenage girl. Harris immediately came under investigation after his 22 month old son Cooper was left in a hot SUV for hours and Cooper died. Harris claimed he was supposed to have taken his son to daycare that morning, but he broke his usual routine and forgot he had his baby in the car. But prosecutors argued Harris intentionally killed his son because he was seeking to escape his marriage. And during the trial, they presented evidence to try to corroborate allegations. He was seeking relationships with young women online. A jury found him guilty of murder and sex crimes and he was sentenced to life without parole, but he appealed his case. So when we reached out to the Cobb County DA's office to see if it intends to retry Harris, they told us they plan to file a motion for reconsideration. So a lot of people are wondering right now when you hear this information because it was a huge story, you say, well, what's next? And could now he be released from prison with the most serious part of his conviction overturned? Let's bring in now 11 Alive's legal analyst, Paige Pay. Paige, what can you tell us about what could come next in a case like this? Well, Aisha, I think the most important thing to know is Justin Ross Harris is not leaving prison anytime soon. The conviction on the sex crime charges, he was sentenced to 12 years for those charges. He's still going to have to serve those regardless of what happens to the murder charges. But it is now up to the district attorney in Cobb County whether to retry him on the murder charges relating to the death of his son, Cooper. That decision will be made probably within the next few months, and then he may face another trial on the murder charges while he's still serving his prison time on the sex crime charges. So let's dig a little bit deeper now into how the, how, how the high court came to this decision around that information that the jury was able to hear during that trial. Well, the big problem is they took two cases and brought them together in one trial. The charges involving the death of Cooper, obviously those were the murder charges, cruelty to children charges, and then they had these unrelated charges relating to um, Harris's communication, mostly text messages to an underage female that were very sexual in nature. They brought those two charges together in one trial. And the Supreme Court said, wait a minute, all of that evidence relating to his texting these underage girls should not have been considered by the jury when they're deciding the murder case. And it was unfairly prejudicial. It made Harris look like a bad guy. Obviously he was, the jury convicted him on those sex crime charges, but they should not have had that evidence bleed over into the murder case. Only the text and messages he was sending on the day Cooper died should have been relevant and should have been admitted at trial. That's what the state Supreme Court said. And I think that's important to point out here that this is so separate because we have a couple of parents who have already been arrested for leaving kids in hot cars this year. We've had hot car related deaths already in the metro this year. So you can't look at this case as setting precedent for any of those. No, I mean, to an extent you can. The Supreme Court did find that there was sufficient evidence of the murder charges, so that's why they can retry him again. There was sufficient evidence if you take away all of the information about the underage female, the, the sex crimes. So yes, this is still the type of case that police should pursue, that prosecutors uh, should, should proceed on. Uh, and that's why I think in this case, the, full, uh, the Cobb County DA will go back and retry him on those murder charges. All right, so this is definitely not over in that aspect, and we will mm -hmm. continue following this. And we thank you for joining us, Mr. Page Pate, giving us that in-depth perspective. Thank you. And we have thank a you, team Aisha. on this for you today, bringing you more angles of this new development in this case. You can also catch reaction tonight on 11 Alive News at 5 and catch up on the story. We have all the latest details and everything that led up to Harris's initial conviction for you right now on 11alive.com. We have some new details.